In today's video, we will go to County Wicklow to find the Howard family mausoleum. In Old Kilbride Cemetery in County Wicklow, Ireland, on a small rise a mile north of Arklow and overlooking the Avoca River, you will find the Howard family mausoleum, as described by English writer Sir John Betjeman as the largest pyramid beyond the banks of the Nile. It is difficult to verify if this is true or not. Pyramids are symbolic of ancient Egypt, however, they have been used around the world as a burial marker in different cultures throughout history. It stands in the highest position in the ancient cemetery of Kilbride, dwarfing the remains of a medieval church. It can be easily seen from most points within a two mile, three kilometer radius. Ralph Howard of Shelton Abbey was made the first Viscount of Wicklow in 1785 it was at this time he had his family's mausoleum built. Deciding on a pyramid, he did so at the height of Neoclassicism. Philosophical enlightenment was at its height and to speak of Egyptian, Athenian or Roman architecture was to display not only education but good taste. Although this may seem out of place in a European setting, it is not too uncommon. Another Irish pyramid lies in County Offaly, further inland. The design is believed to be the work of an English sculptor and stone cutter, Simon Verpel. He was brought to Ireland by James Caulfield, the fourth Viscount of Charlemont and soon became known for his designs based on ancient civilizations. He worked closely with architect William Chambers on Castletown House, Charlemont House in Rutland, now Parnell Square in Dublin, and the Casino at Marino. He appears to have done relatively little, purely sculptural work in Ireland, being employed chiefly as a stone carver, mason and clerk of works. The Howard Mausoleum is not on the list of works accredited to him. The pyramid's outer cladding is granite blocks. A sarcophagus on the north side records that the monument was erected in memory of an earlier Howard and as a place of burial for the family and that the mausoleum was placed there in memory of ancestors who had died a century prior and for generations of Howards to come.
North of the pyramid is a small Egyptian style structure with a temple front that is often taken for part of the mausoleum. But this leads to a second chamber that houses a minor branch of the Howard family. Access to the inside of the pyramid was gained by a small door in the north wall, now sealed. Passing down a narrow eight foot long walkway brings you to a chamber which is roughly 10 feet square with an impressive curved brick ceiling. The wall facing the short corridor and the walls to the right and left each contain nine niches for coffins, three rows of three. The strange thing is that only 18 are occupied. The pyramid has 33 slabs for coffins which some take to be an indication of Freemason connections in conjunction with the mysterious pyramid. The first internment was of Ralph Howard's daughter Isabella. She was 19 when she died in December 1784. As the pyramid was not built until the following year it is reasonable to assume that Isabella was buried in the graveyard and reinterred in the mausoleum when it was ready. The last internment is on record as having taken place in 1823. It's said that the last body interred in the pyramid was that of an infant Howard. For weeks following the internment of the infant family member, tenants living at Kilbride and Arklow reported hearing a baby's cries coming from the cemetery late at night, which only ceased once the corpse had been removed and interred elsewhere and the pyramid was sealed for all time.